Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today we'll be talking about a very important command called list open files. List open files is used to find out which files are open by which process. As you may know in Linux everything is a file. So every pipe, every socket, every directory, every device is a file. So, are you ready? Let's get started. So, it's better to use it with root privileges. As you can see here now, I'm in a root prompt. So, I will just try to launch it. So, to run it, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to type ls open files, as you can see here. So I get a bunch of lines. So in order to explain the most important columns, I will redirect the output to the less commands. So now I can see the output page by page. Okay. Here we go. As you can see, there are some columns here. The name of the columns are at the top of my window. So the first column is the comment, actually. The second one is the process ID. And there is another column here, which is for user. And FD comment, which, very, which is very important. FD stands for file descriptor. As you can see here, we have a bunch of uh, abbreviations. CWT stands for count working directory. RTT is the root directory. There is also text, which is actually a text or a mem. And here, U means the file is opened in the read write mode. And W means the file is open in write mode. And R, the file is opened in the read mode. So there are the most uh, obvious and the most common abbreviations. There is also a very important col uh, column, the type column. For example, as you can see here, so the dire means directory, the rec means regular file, and chr means a character special file. Okay. There is also a column for the device and the size. And finally, the last column is the, for the file itself, the file that is open it, or maybe a directory or something like that. So I'll scroll down so you can see the different lines here that appears. Okay. I will quit that. So now, let's say for example, you want to see the output specific to a user so in order to do that with the list open files comments it's pretty easy all you have to do is to type ls open files minus u which stands for user and then you type the user name for example amina as you can see now i have only the output related to the user amin Okay. So if you want, for example, let's say to list all network connections, because actually this command is also used to troubleshoot network connections. So in order to display them, it's very easy. List open files minus i, which stands for internet connections actually. As you can see now, we have a bunch of internet connection or network connections. Here it's, it gives me actually the port number. Okay, and the, the type is the protocol IP version 4 or IP version 6. Okay, if you want, for example, to find the process running on specific ports, you can do it also minus i and you have to type here the 
protocol which is TCP or UDP for example I will search for example for TCP protocol and column and you have to give the port number let's say for example 22 yes indeed it's my SSH protocol who is running on that port because I have an SSH server running on my Linux box okay so let's say for example to run it once once again using the more command in the second column as you can see here it's the process ID so every process has an ID if I want to list for example a protocol specific to an process ID it's also very easy we tap just ls of minus p which stands for process and I gave the process ID for example I can 20 for example so here as you can see it lists just the open files related to the process ID 20 as you can see here so it's a very important comment that you can that, that every actually illustrator must take a look at every day or whenever he want to troubleshoot the problem so that was just an introduction to this comment as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye